welcome to the Sentinel Quick Start video. What we have right here is Sentinel with Voxel 2. I'll do a little walkthrough real fast. We have front stereo sensors, tracking sensor, high res sensor, rear stereo. You have the GPS and mag assembly. We have a Wi Fi dongle as a modem over here, which we're going to use. Um, we have the Model AI ESC below spectrum uh, receiver, which we're going to use here in a second as well. Um, so in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to power on the vehicle. We're going to connect the vehicle over Wi-Fi to our local network at this office. And once we do that, I'm going to open up an IP connection to Q Ground Control. Um, we're going to just do a quick check on the sanity of the vehicle. The vehicle comes from the factory pre pre-configured and calibrated and um, we're just going to do a simple check and then we're going to set up the sticks to do a manual flight, an offboard flight, and then a position hold. So, um, first things first, safety. Uh, we're going to be very safe today and we're going to wear glasses when needed and uh, all that jazz. So, so the first thing we need to do, um, without the props on, we are going to power on the vehicle. The unit boots up, PX4 automatically starts up, and we'll be able to see some LA, LEDs. All right. So we have the Alpha Networks dongle over here. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to get an ADB connection using a USB-C uh, connection into the Sentinel drone. We're going to open up an ADB shell, and then we're going to configure this drone's Wi-Fi to, to connect to our local area network. So, USB-C plugs in next to the power connector down here. All right, we have this connection, and I already have ADB installed on this laptop, so I'm gonna open up a shell. ADB shell. All right, so um, from the factory, if you get the Sentinel with the Wi-Fi modem, we can ADB over to Sentinel, and we're going to run a, a Voxel Wi-Fi command. Voxel Wi-Fi. This gives us a few options um, to connect to a station, which is what we're going to do. We could also set this up as a soft access point. Um, but right now, what we're going to do is connect to our, our network, which is Jarvis here. So I'm going to do Voxel Wi-Fi. Uh, station mode, and then Jarvis is the SSID name. The password I'm going to push off to the side so it's a secret. Hit enter. So at this point, the, v the Wi Fi has connected to our station. We have a, a solid blue LED right there. Sometimes it'll flash. If I go IF config, you can see that indeed the Sentinel has gotten an IP connection to our network and the IP address is 70, uh, dot 76. So I'm going to re remember that for a little bit later. Um, actually, we can do that right now. I'm going to do an SSH connection. So we have ADB connection right now. I could open up a new terminal and I can do SSH root at that IP address. And then the password is OE Linux. One, two, three. So now we have an SSH connection over to the vehicle. I could get rid of this ADB connection. All right. So still have the SSH connection re re remaining here. Out of the box, PX4 will be running. Um, also, the Mavlink service, or the Mavlink server and the uh, Voxavision PX4 uh, service. So let's 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 check those out. I'm going to run a command on target. It's called Voxel Inspect Services. Now we can see here that Voxelvision PX4 is running. We have Voxel PX4, and then we have the Voxel Mavlink server. Those are the three main guys I'm looking for right now. What we're going to do is configure VoxelVision PX4 to uh, point to the address of this machine. So I'm going to check the IP address of this machine, which is 192.168.1.33. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the configuration file. VI, it's an ETC, modal AI, and then it's voxel vision px4.conf. Open this file up and I'm going to go down to the QGC IP and enter that address, which we already had set up on this vehicle. We'll save that. If I did change that IP address, I'm going to restart the service. So system control, uh, restart, voxel vision px4. Okay. So at this point, we have software running on the vehicle. There's an IP connection on our network here. I'm going to open up Q Ground Control. Manual flight mode. All right. So we have a connection to our vehicle. The next step, uh, the vehicle comes from the factory uh, pre-calibrated, the software ready to go but we do need to bind our transmitter to the receiver, the receiver being our spectrum receiver down here. So in order to do that, we can't use Q, Q ground control as user interface. We're going to have a, a, a connection open to the Sentinel drone, right now an SSH connection. And we're gonna issue uh, a command for binding. It's called QRB5165 bind. There's a few options here. We're going to use a dash S option for the DSMX, and let's do that now. Find dash S. And then when I run that command, we're going to have um, the spectrum go into bind mode. And then I'm going to turn my RC on, my, tra my transmitter, and we're going to bind this guy up. All right. Happy, happy. So after binding the Q ground control and PX4 system sometimes get out of sync, what I do is I will power cycle the drone. Communication lost. The vehicle will re reboot, software will start back up, and a connection will automatically be made. Communication regained. All right, and the connection. Now let's go and we're going to go through and calibrate our RC. So I'm going to go vehicle setup, radio, click the calibrate button, and then let's go through the process. So click next. Next, we want to set up our flight flight modes. So in this setup, what I like to do is have a kill switch set up on channel seven. So kill switch is engaged, kill switch is off. I'm gonna leave kill switch on for right now. I also like to have my flight mode set up on channel, one of these channels. There we go, channel four, flight mode. this guy. So I'm gonna have off board mode, position, position mode, mode. Manual, manual flight, flight mode. mode. We're going to start off in manual flight mode and then pro progress into position and then into offboard flight mode. So at this point, we have a kill switch set up. We have our flight mode set up. And I like to arm it just using the sticks. So that's all I need. So let's do some sandy checks here. We have all green lights. Sensors, they, the sensors come cal calibrated from the factory. Uh, occasionally, you might need to re recalibrate your compass, um, but in this case, we're all good. So, all right. So here we are in our flight area. Um, vehicle's still powered on. We've already gone through and set up the soft software. We're gonna install our props. So these props come with washers that fit perfectly inside of them. And it's very important that those re remain inside. Um, it's it's pretty can, pretty often that these could fall out or or the the washer can stay on the the, the post here. So uh, pay special attention to uh, in, in, inspect the inside of your props and make sure these washers are there. There's also companies that sell um, these adapter rings um, 
in case in case we lose them. There's two pairs of the same kind, and there are little letters on here, kind of raised up, um, that shows what the size is. But then uh, two of them will have um, 10 by 4.5 R, and then 10 by 4.5. So the R's are go, go to the right, which means they go clockwise. And what we want to do is we're going to do clockwise here, counterclockwise here. So let's put this one is not an R. This one is an R. And then this one is an R. And then this guy is going to go over here. And this one is not an R. All right, so this guy again, I'm going to check is the R. Let's get these belt caps off. Washers in place, down, washer on top. Screw the bell cap down. And then we hand tighten, but I'm going to go a little tighter here. I'm going to hold on to the prop and motor. I'm going to pull this bell cap like that. Hand tight. Pretty, pretty uh, good there. Cool. That's the first one. All right. So now props are installed. Um, I'm going to do, we have kill switch engaged after we've installed the props. Do that before you install the props. Um, and then I'm going to check the attitude readings here and things are looking good. So, and in doing that, what we're going to do is kill switch is engaged on, on my system here. Um, in order to arm, we're going to, we're going to do an action this way to arm and we're going to have the different flight modes. We're in position mode or in manual flight mode right now down here. Mode. It's off board, but not with that. Manual, Manual flight mode. mode. All right, and kill switch disengaged. I'm gonna do a quick, quick sandy check before I get get going here. It's gonna arm. Cool. Disarm. All right. Now we're out of the cage, safe, and gonna arm and take off. World flight up and down. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to I'm going to move into position mode. This uses the VIO system, um, but I'm also going to go grab my laptop. So at this point, we're going to use the position flight mode. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to open up my SSH connection over here, still connected. And I'm going to run a, a program called uh, Voxel Inspect QVIO. Uh, this is going to give us the, the data that the computer vision system has. So the last time we booted up was right around here, and the location data should be around 000. I'm going to do a sanity check here um, by carrying my laptop and then just kind of checking that I move directly up a meter, that the system shows about a meter up. And move XYZ and ensure that the data that the computer vision system is showing agrees with how you're moving. And this is done before we do a, our first flight in position mode. So that's looking good. We're in position flight mode now. When we, when we arm and, and, add, and use the throttle in position mode, um, the, the throttle needs to get up to 50% before takeoff. So it's a little bit different than a manual flight mode. So the very first time I did that, it was a little sketchy for me, but uh, know that getting up to 50% throttle in position mode to take off is uh, fine. So. Um, Let's, let's uh, do it. This, this mode sticks off.
next flight, we're going to use the offboard mode, and this is going to allow us to do a figure eight used uh, using a program to fly. So, let's bring this camera back a bit, and we're going to utilize um, the takeoff in position mode again, and then I'm going to flip to offboard mode. And when that when that happens, the uh, the the vehicle will start doing a figure eight. Stop, just put it back into position mode. All cool. And now we can just safely land.